Okay, we've got question five here. Now just notice, it's important to take care, it's got a star on question five. It means the way you write down your answer is going to be assessed as well. You've got to write neatly and explain what you're doing. So, so let's just highlight the text first before we do anything. Sarah wants to buy some fruit. She wants to buy three oranges at 30p each and half a kilogram of apples at 120 per kilogram. The only money, money Sarah has is a 50p coin and six 20p coins. She pays for the fruit. Work out how much money, this is the key, Sarah has left. Show you're working. So let's work out step by step the cost of the things she wants to buy. So I'm going to start up here. Um, you'd have more space in the exam. So I'm going to say oranges first. I'm going to tell the examiner I'm dealing with oranges. And it's 3 multiplied by 30p, which is clearly 90p. Okay, then let's do the apples. Well, she wants half a kilogram and they're 120 per kilogram. £1.20 per kilogram. So half a kilogram must be 60p. So it's 120p, and you've halved it like that, which is 60p. Okay, so the total of these two here would be the sum of 90 and 60, which is 150 pence, or £1.50. Now, how much money has she got? So uh, Sarah's money, let's just label that Sarah's money. Well, she's got 150p coins, so she's got 50p. And she's got 620p coins, so she's got 6 times 20p, which is 120p. Okay, so she's got 50p and 120p, which is 170 pence. So how much money has she left while she buys that? Well, left over is clearly going to be 170 pence. Subtract the cost of the fruit, which is 150 pence, which is 20 pence, like that. Or you could write your answer as 0 0.20 pounds. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Show each of your steps. Don't just rush ahead and write one pound fifty and and stuff like that. You won't get all your workings. Show very clearly how much the oranges, how much the apples, how much the total. Get loads of marks for that. Then show how much money she's got. Marks for that. Then work out the leftover and then state your final answer like that. And that will get you all of your five marks.